David Wu is among the most influential editors in action cinema, collaborating with John Wu to bring to the screen some of the most iconic films of the past 30 years, including Hard Boiled, Red Cliff, and A Better Tomorrow. He has done his fair share of directing, though in recent years he has focused mostly on directing for TV. And his newest film, Cold Steel, is his first feature-length film since 1994. Unfortunately, some great action set pieces and fun characterizations aside, the film falls flat. Made in the model of an American blockbuster film, the film drips with an overbearing pro-China sentiment. The film functions more as propaganda than it does a narrative work, and the energies devoted to maintaining this ideal ultimately work against character development, narrative clarity, and overall credibility. Perfectly good scenes will be interrupted with political rhetoric that not only feel unnatural, but are out of place or merely counterintuitive. The film, nonetheless, has many aesthetic strengths, in particular in terms of pacing and editing flourishes. The action sequences are remarkably riveting, especially as they are often gun or sniper fights, a particular brand of action that can be extremely difficult to render dynamically. Similarly, the use of lathe motifs as a means of evoking the internal world of the characters, like the recurring image of a dying boar, suggests a level of sophistication not often found in films of this kind. Overall though, the film has more working against it than for it, and sinks under the weight of its propaganda. <laughs> Come <laughs> on.